Good Friday Good morning, morning, church family. We're glad you're with us today. We want to give you a snapshot of the week ahead. Sunday mm -hmm. morning, mm -hmm. connect hour, 9 a.m. If you've not been connected or you've been connected and need to come back and get yeah. reconnected, Sunday morning, get here just a little bit before 9, come to one of our connect centers right inside the steeple mm -hmm. entrance, and we will get you to a small group Bible study. It's paramount, all it ages is. from preschool to adults. This past week, I talked to three couples who were guests with us last Sunday. All three of those couples plan to be in a connect group this coming Amen. Sunday. So folks, join them. Come on. We got classes for all ages, so we'd love to see you get connected in a connect group. All Sunday right. morning's coming up in worship. That's right. Immediately following that connect hour is our worship service mm. at 1030 a.m. This week, we're still in our series, Nuts, <laughs> Nuts and, and Bolts. Bolts. We're, we're going to be there a while, week? by the That's way, right. too. That's yeah. right. Book of James. But this week, we're talking about how do I respond to the needs of others. Mm. Folks, there are needs all around us. I just pray that you'll come with listening ears this week mm. and to say, Lord, who is it around me that needs to be ministered to? And God, you will equip me to do that. So that's going to be the focus of the message in person. Those who worship with us online, you're going to see the message from last weekend. How do I respond to God's word? Uh, not just hearing it, but doing it. So you'll be able to engage us there. Encourage you to share it. Invite other people to watch as well. Amen. It's a great, great service. Also, John Mark, this is coming up in person this week, another baptism. Oh, that's great. Uh, we're baptizing a lot right now. We're excited about that. That's great. Hey, we got a little boy going to be baptized Sunday morning. I talked to his dad the other day. Uh, he came forward last Sunday, and he is counting down the hours to his baptism. Mm. Folks, that just warmed my heart when I heard him say that. You know, we count down the hours to a lot of events in life, no but doubt. he's counting down the hours to when he's going to obey Jesus in baptism. So you'll see that in person this weekend. It's going to be wonderful. Hey, worship is important. Thank you for giving week in and week out. Mm -hmm. Tithes and offerings make a difference. You can give through the Connect Centers. You can give in the offering plates. You can give online. You can give at one of the tithe boxes. They're still out there. You can mail it in. But thank you for being faithful and giving tithes and offerings. Again, it helps us get the gospel mm -hmm. in our city and around the world. Amen. So I appreciate you doing that. This weekend, too, big weekend starting tonight with Disciple Now. D Now. Big, big weekend for our students. It's, it's a little too late to sign up to be a host yeah. home or that, but what we can do, church, is we can pray for those students. So let's be That's in right. prayer all weekend for those students that somebody might find Jesus, that those students will be discipled, and that they'll come to church energized on Sunday morning and ready to worship. Yeah, Angie and I are hosting middle school girls tonight. All and right. uh, for the weekend, we're excited, and we're going to have a great time. So we're praying for D-Now, pray for students to hear the gospel, mm -hmm. follow Christ, and maybe this is going to be the weekend many of them are going to meet Amen. Jesus for the first time. Yeah. And I just encourage you to pray that way. Also coming up Sunday night, we've got our prayer walk, 5 o'clock. It's going to be great. 5 o'clock. If you've not heard about that, we want you to come and pray for the different ministry areas in our church. This is the first time we've done this. It is. A lot of moving pieces it to is. this, but it's going to be a great event because we get to sp uh, pray over each area yeah. of the ministries in our church. And just so you'll know, you say, well, I can't. It's a big campus, and it mm -hmm. is, and you can't walk all these different That's places. Right. You can stay in the worship center Sunday night, and we're going to lead out a prayer session mm -hmm. there for those who just can't walk the, the facility. So there is something for everyone. Amen. We hope you'll be here Sunday night, 5 o'clock in the Grace Worship Center. Uh, we'll sing together, share a devotion together, and then we're going to break out and pray together. Uh, date night on March the 20th. You guys are working on a video. It's going to be fun, we right? Are. We're working can't on a wait. promo video for that today. So we've been yep. working on that event. If you're married, if you've yep. mar been married a long time, maybe a little bit of time, or you're thinking about getting married, this event is for it's you. Sign be, up for that yeah. online. Uh, get your spot reserved. We're really looking forward yeah. to that event. Again, March 20th, all of our staff are going to be leading breakout sessions. It's going to be covering a lot of topics. You'll see more information online, but we hope you'll sign up, invite some other people to come with you. You could be a great investment in their marriage, Amen. their relationship, if you invite Amen. them to come. And then one day coming up on April the 3rd, that's a Sunday morning, we're just encouraging people who physically can to join us in person for connect groups but also the worship gathering that Amen. day it's just a gathering of our first family we love our first family we want to be together and so we'll keep talking about that you'll hear more but one day's coming up on april the third john marcus we worship today god is so good i just all don't ever want to get over that all the time he's good that's right yeah. that's right church you sang your hearts out Sunday That's morning exactly on this. Right. So we're going to worship again today. Let's sing together, lift our hearts and minds to Jesus. God is so good, and we will see you Sunday. Sunday. <laughs>